Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Uh, in a previous video, I showed you how to use Meshmore for graph with the MetaHuman DNA files and uh, we've made uh, this uh, wrapping DNA to CC5 graph and we exported uh, the results to uh, DNA, right? So uh, let's, uh, let's load those DNAs. Let's load the head and uh let's uh in this video let's do something cool and uh, let's append directly to our dna files right so i'm gonna append to uh dna uh head right and uh i'm gonna do that by going to dna to mesh i'm gonna this converts uh, my dna uh data to uh mesh data so i can uh, work with it in the mesh more for graph and uh, I'm going to use uh, LOD index zero and I'm going to append a skeletal mesh to it, not this one, excellent. I'm going to append uh, this uh, skeletal mesh, right? So it has eyebrows and it has like a helmet. So uh, if uh, I want to first align better uh, my uh, skeletal mesh i can do that with sculpt node let's uh, transform it a little bit uh, better like this and let's accept and now i can append it right to do that i just bring the append geometry node I keep transfer weights because I want in my case uh, to transfer the weights from the face to uh, the new skeletal mesh. You you have different options. You can append to a bone or merge skeletons, but in our case here, it's either transfer weights or parent bone, right? If you keep none, then it will preserve the existing weights. So that's how it works. And now let's bake this. Oh, uh, another thing, uh, we can also change uh, the material names here. Let's append, I forgot to press append geometry. Okay, now. And uh, we can pick up our uh, material names, right? So if uh, we want, uh, when we bake uh, DNA geometry, uh, the uh, material slot name that is uh, Taking uh, taken into consideration is the imported uh, material slot name, not the material slot name, the imported version. And uh, let's make it like this. Let's put this orb wrap here. And uh, let's put, make it so it's uh, browse and orb wrap, both of them, right? So uh, let's uh, keep it like this. And now, uh, let's uh, go to bake DNA geometry. Uh, for uh, our uh, options here, you can choose the LOD index. Uh, in our case, it's going to be zero, but we're going to do uh, LOD index one as well. And uh, we're going to uh, attempt to preserve uh, morph targets. Uh, apply to LODs uh, won't be used because we have different topology. This works only when uh, we uh, have the same topology and we're also going to do quad export right because we want our dna uh, to have quads so we can work easily in uh, maya or houdini or whatever right so uh this is it let's uh, bake dna okay uh we baked dna on lod index uh, zero but uh, let's do it for lod index one as well uh, we're gonna uh, go with DNA to mesh node and here we're gonna select DNA to mesh. Uh, we're gonna select the LOD index one and uh, we're gonna do the same append geometry. We're gonna bring uh, our mesh here, the, the one from uh, the skeletal. So not the appended uh, geometry, just uh, the skeletal mesh we want to append. Let's append 
and here we're gonna do something else uh, for our materials because we want in in my case here I want to have uh, different uh, uh, meshes for LOD zero and one so I can remove them in the future. I'm giving them this LOD one uh, name here. If you leave it uh, the same as you used as LOD index uh, zero, then uh, uh, the mesh will be shared between uh, LODs, right? So I don't want to do that. I just want to have different uh, mesh for LOD one. So uh, this is it. Now we're going to grab from our already baked here. We're going to grab again the baked DNA geometry. We're going to pick here LOD index one and let's check again. We have the naming correct. And now we're going to input our uh, uh, our new mesh, right? So let's uh, get it there and let's bake. And now let's write it to uh, DNA and uh, let's bring it in uh, Houdini, right? I'm going to overwrite this head mesh here. In Houdini, it's pretty easy. We just uh, bring in a geometry node. We double click on it. Character assembler and uh, use a metahuman character rig. And here we're going to pick our path, which is test DNA and accept. Okay, now uh, we can see our DNA contains our data. It's uh, it's uh, uh, appended, our helmet and our custom eyebrows are appended directly to our DNA. And uh, we have a custom topology here. And uh, let's also test uh, uh, the animations. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit. And we will see that uh, we have uh, everything working correctly, right? So let's do the same here. Our eyebrows also move. So we have everything correctly here, right? Uh, this is how uh, we export uh, the DNA into uh, Houdini or Maya or whatever. But uh, we have uh, another thing uh, to talk about. Uh, when we try to use uh, this custom uh, uh, topology DNA uh, in uh, a character uh, editor here in uh, MetaHuman Character Creator in uh, Unreal Engine, we won't be able, right? Because it has different topology and this uh, uh, plugin in the engine works only uh, when you preserve the exact topology, right? Let's test it out first. And if uh, we go to conform here and we go to our DNA and select the head and uh, import, we will see that the DNA is not consistent with metahuman topology, right? Because we, we've added a lot of new topology, right? We added in the, this entire mesh. So to create our skeletal mesh in uh, the engine, uh, we grab uh, from the latest to bake DNA geometry and go to export DNA to skeletal mesh and here we have one option it's either a body or a face right so in our case is the face and uh, we're gonna export to skeletal mesh and uh, we're gonna uh, pick a name here it's up to you what name you pick okay our mesh has been uh, created let's open it and this is it let's uh, copy uh, the materials I think in face here uh, let's copy this yes and we also have browse shader and orb wrap shader we can see it here right and uh, let's pick a material for this one work with material is fine and uh, the same for 
the other one. You need to apply all uh, the materials to the other sections as well. So uh, you need to copy them from your existing uh, MetaHuman to your new one. And uh, if you don't see the changes, just close it and uh, reopen it. So this is it. Uh, let's go to preview settings and let's test it out. AR kit. And this is it. Now we have a skeletal mesh created from our custom DNA uh, asset, our DNA file. And uh, we will be able to use this both in uh, Houdini, Maya, uh, Unreal Engine. It's up to you, right? Wherever you can load the DNA file. So this is uh, what I wanted to show you. Obviously, you can do uh, more things here. You can also recompute normals. You can remove, you can subdivide. Uh, you can change the entire topology. It's up to you, right? So uh, this is uh, what I wanted to show you. Now, uh, if you want to create expressions, you can use Mesh Morpher Classic to customize your expressions, to customize your uh, morph targets and do all that, right? Uh, Mesh Morpher Graph uh, uh, doesn't create uh, or modify uh, expressions. You can modify uh, blend shapes, but not expressions, right? The metahuman face expressions. So uh, this is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoy it and see you around. Bye.